Yo, what's up, everybody? Good evening. Um, man, we lost another uh, ill MC, bro. Uh, ill motherfucking MC. Chino XL, Puerto Rican descent. Nasty lyricist. Um, and I dare to say that he was one of the guys that set a blueprint for a lot of the artists in the 90s to go hard the way they did. The way he delivered, his style of flow, a lot of niggas that became mainstream and, and made a killing took that blueprint from Chino XL. It's sad, man, that he never, I don't, I don't even remember if they gave this guy his flowers, bro, in life. But goddamn, bro, we cannot keep waiting till dope ass MCs like this pass. And y'all just, when they pass, y'all just want to come out the woodwork and be like, yo, Chino XL, oh shit, the lyricist of a, a lot of people have the power to give flowers in life. They don't choose to do it, man, because, you know, they don't want to admit that these are the guys that set a blueprint for a lot of people. You know, Excel is one of the illest MCs. Um, what can I say, man? RIP to one of the illest fucking rappers, bro. Latino rappers. Puerto Rican, bro. We lost a big one, bro. Since Ghetto Vampires. I remember having this dude's music. What can I say, bro? R.I.P. Rest in peace. And people start giving people flowers in life. And I'm not talking about the mainstream cocksuckers. They get flowers every day in the awards. Every day they get flowers with their buddies, their butt buddies, their butt hugging buddies, and all that shit. You know, um, we talking about the guys that you know that are really the monsters getting busy and they just kept on the sideline. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody be like, yo, let's take flowers out for this guy. Let's do something. You know? R.I.P. Chino XL. I do recognize he's one of the best. And I do recognize that a lot of people that was mainstream used his blueprint. R.I.P., bro.